According to Mahaparinibbana Sutta, after his death, the Buddha was cremated and the ashes divided among his followers. <laughs> Division of the relics Originally his ashes were to go only to the Shakya clan, to which Buddha belonged, however, six clans and a king, demanded the body relics. To avoid fighting, a Brahmin Drona divided the relics into ten portions, eight from the body relics, one from the ashes of Buddha's cremation pyre and one from the pot used to divide the relics, which he kept for himself. After the Buddha's Parinibbana, his relics were enshrined and worshipped in stupas by the royals of eight countries, to Ajatasattu, king of Magadha, to the Lichavas of Vishali, to the Sakyas of Kapilavasta, to the Bulas of Alakapa, to the Kolyas of Ramagrama, to the Brahman of Vethadipa, to the Malas of Pava, and to the Malas of Kushinagara stupa as a monument specifically to house such relics. Often they were enclosed in caskets such as the Kanishka casket or the Bamaran casket. Spread of the relics by Ashoka The relics were later dug up by Ashoka, and used the relics said to have been divided into 84,000 portions and had stupas built over them throughout the region he rules. Many of the remains were taken to other countries. The Ashokavadana narrates how Ashoka redistributed Buddha's relics across 84,000 stupas, with the distribution of the relics and construction of the stupas performed by yakshas. When the Chinese pilgrims F. A. Heen and Hyuan Sang visited India centuries later, they reported most of ancient sites were in ruin. The Lokapanati 11th, 12th century tells the story of King Ajatashatru of Magadha who gathered the Buddha's relics and hid them in an underground stupa. The Buddha's relics were protected by spirit-powered mechanical robots Buddha Vahana Yanta from the kingdom of Roma Visaya until they were disarmed by King Ashoka. The Mahaparinirvana Sutra says that of the Buddha's four eye teeth canines, one was worshipped in Indra's heaven, the second in the city of Gandhara, the third in Kalinga, and the fourth in Ramagrama by the king of the Nagas. Annually in Sri Lanka and China, tooth relics would be paraded through the streets. In the past relics have had the legal right to own property, and the destruction of stupas containing relics was a capital crime viewed as murder of a living person. A Southeast Asian tradition says that after his parinirvana the gods distributed the Buddha's 800,000 body and 900,000 head hairs throughout the universe. In Theravada according to the 5th century Buddhahosa possessing relics was one of the criteria in Theravada for what constituted a proper monastery. The adventures of many relics are said to have been foretold by Buddha, as they spread the Dharma and gave legitimacy to rulers. It is said all the Buddha's relics will one day gather at the Bodhi tree where he attained enlightenment and will then form his body sitting cross legged and performing the twin miracle. It is said the disappearance of the relics at this point will signal the coming of Maitreya Buddha. In the Nandamitravadana translated by Xuanzang it is said that the Buddha's relics will be brought to Parinirvana by sixteen great arhats and enshrined in a great stupa. That stupa will then be worshipped until it sinks into the earth down to the golden wheel underlying the universe. The relics are not destroyed by fire in this version but placed in a final reliquary deep within the earth, perhaps to appear again. Previous incarnations of the Buddha also left relics. In the Buddhavamsa, it mentions that the Sobhita, Paduma, Sumita, Atthadasi, Fusa, Vesabhu, and Kanagamana Buddhas have had their relics dispersed. The relics of Buddha's disciples like Sariputta and Maglayana, were also preserved enshrined in stupas as in Sanchi. <inaudible> relics in Afghanistan Sometime in the middle of the 5th century the Chinese pilgrim Derong traveled to Afghanistan visiting pilgrimage sites. In Nagaharahara was a piece of bone from the top of Buddha's skull four inches long. Also in the city was an enshrined staff, and a jeweled reliquary containing some teeth and hair. A shadow was said to have been projected onto a rock wall, said to have belonged to Buddha, as well as a set of footprints, and a site venerated for being where Buddha washed his robe. A temple said to have been built by Buddha is sinking into the ground here, with what is said to be his writing on the wall. A tooth of the Buddha was kept in Bactra. In Bamyan a tooth of Buddha was stored along with the tooth of a Kakravartan king. An early masterpiece of the Greco-Buddhist art of Gandhara, and one of the earliest representations of the Buddha, the Bamaran casket was discovered in a stupa near Jalabad in eastern Afghanistan. 
Although the casket bears an inscription saying it contains some of the relics of the Buddha, no relics were discovered when the box was opened. Buddha's first disciples Tripusa and Bahalika received eight strands of hair from him, which they brought to their hometown of Balk and enshrined in a golden stupa by the gate. Relics in America Lou Mountain Temple, east of Los Angeles, California has recently received over 10,000 sarira including two teeth and one hair believed to belong to Gautama Buddha. Most of these relics were donated from monasteries across Vietnam. Relics in Bangladesh A Buddha relic is kept in Buddha Datu Jati Bangladesh beneath four Buddha statues. The Buddha's Datu was given by Ven. U. Panya Hoda Mahathero in 1994 by the State Sangha Maha Nyaka Committee of Myanmar. <inaudible> <inaudible> Relics in Bhutan Ringsals from Buddha, Nagarjuna, Longchunpa, Marpa, and Milarepa visited Chubachu Bhutan from Bodhgaya Sri Lanka, in October 2013. <inaudible> <inaudible> Relics in Cambodia A Buddha relic was enshrined at Sakyaminu Chedai 2002 Royal Place in Udong. Fifty years earlier, this relic was transported from Sri Lanka to Phnom Penh, but was transported again after King Sihanouk voiced concerns about urban decay surrounding Phnom Penh. King Sihanouk of Cambodia received a Buddha relic from the French in 1952. Relics present from the 1950s were recently stolen in Odong Mountain and remain missing. A golden urn said to contain relics of Buddha was snatched from a mountain shrine, sparking a nationwide manhunt, and was recovered on February 5, 2014. The disappearance of the urn, believed to contain hair, teeth and bones of Buddha and several small statues, came to light in December and prompted an outcry in the Buddhist majority country. Everything is still in the urn. National police spokesman Kurt Chantharith told a news agency. <inaudible> <inaudible> Relics in China According to legend, the first Buddha relic in China appeared in a vase in 248 CE so that Kong Sengui would have something to show a local ruler. The king of Wu Sun Quan would unsuccessfully attempt to destroy the tooth, by subjecting it to various tests. In legends Dao Xuan is attributed with the transmission of the Buddha relic Dao Xuan's tooth, one of the four tooth relics enshrined in the capital of Chang'an during the Tang dynasty. He is said to have received the relic during a night visit from a divinity associated with Indra. The emperor Taizong tried to burn a tooth relic but was unable to do so. According to his biography upon his return in 645 CE Xuanzang returned from his 17-year-long pilgrimage to India with over 600 Mahayana and Hinayana texts, seven statues of the Buddha and more than a hundred Sarira relics. Emperor Wen and Empress Wu of the Sui both venerated Buddha relics. Dao Xuan's Ji Gujin Fodao Lunhang collection of the documents related to the Bado Daoist controversies in the past and the present, completed 661, recounts that shortly after being born Yang Jian, was given to Buddhist divine nun until the age of 13. Yang Jian, after becoming the Emperor Sui Wendi, lead three Buddha relic redistribution campaigns in 601602 and 604. The relics were enshrined across 107 pagodas, along with pictures of the divine nun. In 2010, remains of Gautama Buddha's skull were enshrined at Shishya Temple in Nanjing. The partial bone had been held in the pagoda of King Ashoka, constructed in 1011 under the former Chang'an Temple of Nanjing. In 1987, a chamber was unearthed below Faiman Temple, and a finger bone said to belong to Gautama Buddha was discovered. In 2003 the finger bone was one of 64 culturally significant artifacts officially prohibited from leaving China for exhibitions. In 2009, the relic was enshrined in the world's tallest stupa recently built within the domains of Faiman Temple. Two bone fragments believed to belong to Gautama Buddha are enshrined at Yunju Temple. According to Tang Dynasty records, China had 19 pagodas of King Ashoka holding Sakamuni's relics. Seven of these pagodas are believed to have been found. 
Currently the tooth relic is kept in Beijing while the knuckle of the middle finger is at Xi'an City Shaanxi Province. In 1072 the Japanese pilgrim Jojin visited the Buddha's tooth in Kaifeng, an imperial emissary had to open the door to the build that housed it in the Hall of Seven Treasures. The Beijin tooth was discovered in 1900 when it was discovered in the ruins of Zhaoshen Pagoda outside of Beijing. The monks of the nearby Lingguang Monastery found a box in the rubble with the inscription. The Holy Tooth Relics of Sakamuni Buddha", written by Shan Wei in 963 CE. They kept the molar inside until at their monastery until 1955 when they gave it to the Buddhist Association of China. The Burmese ambassador was asked whether Burma could have the relic, to which the Chinese premier Zhou Enlai who offered. When a delegation came to retrieve the tooth it was now housed in a golden jeweled casket instead of glass and would only be loaned to Burma for eight months. The Beijing Tooth Temple was reconstructed in 1966 in front of Buddhist delegations from ten countries. <inaudible> Relics in India Buddha belonged to one of these eight families the Sakyas, who had one-eighth of his relics stored at Kapilavasta. According to the PBS series Secrets of the Dead, an urn containing these was discovered in a stupa at Piprawa near Birdpur historical British variant is Birdpur, a Buddhist sacred structure in the Basti district of Uttar Pradesh in India by amateur archaeologist William Claxton Pepe in 1898. Piprawa became identified by the Archaeological Survey of India as Kapilavasta. In 1971 km. Srivastava continued excavating the site and discovered 22 bones in two soapstone urns, dating them to the 5th century BCE. The report on these findings was filed 20 years later in 1991. Piprawa as Kapilavasta is contested by Nepal who believed Tilorakot to be Kapilavasta, however the relics were displayed by Sri Lanka in 1978. Mortal remains of Buddha belonging to 3rd or 4th century were found during an excavation in 1962-1963 at Devni Mori which is a Buddhist archaeological site near Shamalaji in Gujarat. Ashes of Buddha were found in a gold bottle wrapped in silk cloth within a copper bowl that was kept in a casket. The 1,700-year-old casket's inscription in Brahmi script mentions Dashabala Sharira Nilaya, which stands for Abode of the Bodily Relics of Lord Buddha. The remains are preserved in the Museum of Department of Archaeology and Ancient History of the Faculty of Arts, Maharaja Sayajirao University of Baroda, Vadodara. When the first dome of the Global Vipassana Pagoda was constructed in October 2006 in Mumbai, bone relics of Gautama Buddha were enshrined in the central locking stone of the dome, making it the world's largest structure containing relics of the Buddha. The relics were originally found in the stupa at Bhattaprolu, Gunter district, Andhra Pradesh, South India. They have been donated by the Mahabodhi Society of India and the Prime Minister of Sri Lanka to be kept at the Global Vipassana Pagoda. A casket was discovered in Lalitgiri in Orissa believed to contain bones of Buddha. The Kulvemsa relays the legend Silakala and King Magalana who went to India in exile. Silakala and became a novice at Bodhgaya where he was given a hair relic. Magalana took this relic back to Sri Lanka and placed it in a crystal casket, and instigated a regular festival in honour to the hair. Although King Bimbisaras let the women in his harem visit Buddha in his monastery in the evenings, the women wanted a hair and nail stupa they could use to venerate the Buddha any time. After Bimbisara spoke with Buddha who complied with their request, in Rajagra, Buddha went to have his hair shaved, but none of the monks were willing to cut Buddha's hair, so they found a young boy named Upali of the barber caste. In the attempt to cut the hair better he controlled his body posture and breathing going into the fourth level of trance, dhyana. The Buddha's disciple seeing this Ananda took the razor from him, then wondered what to do with the hair, thinking it was an impure thing. Buddha reprimanded him and had Ananda deliver the hair in a pot to the general Gopali who took it into battle, becoming victorious. According to Xuanzang, hundreds of thousands of people came every day to venerate a tooth relic in Kanyakaba. According to the Pali Dathavamsa, tooth chronicle, a disciple of Buddha named Kima took a tooth from Buddha's funeral pyre and gave it to Brahmadatta king of Kalinga, India. In Dantapura the tooth is taken by Niganthas to King Gushava, then the Hindu emperor Pandu who attempts to destroy it in several different ways. Unable to destroy the tooth the king converts to Buddhism and venerates the tooth. One hundred years prior to the visit of Xuanzang the Iphthalite Huns destroyed a number of relics in Kashmir and Gandhara. 
To escape one of the purges, a monk fled to India and paid pilgrimage to many sacred sites. One day he encountered a herd of wild elephants. He attempted to hide in a tree but was taken by the elephants to one of their young who had a bamboo splinter in his foot. He treated the elephant's wound and it rewarded him with a golden casket containing a tooth of Buddha. On the way back he ferried across a river which threatened to sink them midway. The passengers determined it was Nagas wanting the Buddha relic and convinced the monk to throw the tooth in the river. He would spend the next three years learning the proper rituals to tame Naga, subduing their king and reclaiming the tooth. <inaudible> Relics in Indonesia Borobudur in Java contains one of the Buddha's relics. Topic: Relics in Japan. According to legend in Japan 552 CE, there was an attempt to destroy a tooth relic, one of the first of Buddhas to arrive in the country. It was hit by a hammer into an anvil. The hammer and anvil were destroyed, but the tooth was not. On January 15, 593, Soga no Umako ordered relics of Buddha deposited inside the foundation stone under the pillar of a pagoda at Asuka According to Japanese legends the tooth of Indra's heaven would be stolen from Drona's turban by a demon called Sokashiki demon fleet foot, however he was caught by an even faster divinity and the tooth was given to Indra. Although no mention is made of Xuanzang specifically having a tooth, a Japanese tradition claims one was eventually taken by the monk Gishin and kept in Tendai and Fujiwara. <laughs> Relics in Korea Tongdosa Temple, one of the three Three Jewel Temples of Korea, was founded by Jajang Yulsa after he returned from a pilgrimage to China in 646 AD. The temple houses a robe, begging bowl and a piece of skull said to belong to Buddha. Other temples built by Jajang also house relics. Bongjongam Hermitage is said to possess Sarira from Gautama, while Sangwanza houses bone-setting relics. Additionally Jungamsa Temple, and Baifiangsa Temple are said to contain relics. At Bulguksa Temple in South Korea, beneath a three-story stone pagoda, 46 sarira have been kept for over 1,200 years, two more having appeared recently. It is said that Korean Emperor Hizong tried to sink a tooth relic at sea but was unable to do so. <laughs> Relics in Laos Pha that Luang is the most important national symbol of Laos. Buddhist missionaries from the Mauryan Empire are believed to have been sent by the Emperor Ashoka, including Bari Chan or Praya Chanthabari Pasithizik and five Arahata monks who brought a holy relic believed to be the breast bone of Buddha to the stupa. <laughs> Relics in Malaysia In 2001, Mahindarama Buddhist Temple, located in Georgetown, became the first temple in Penang to house the relics of the Buddha. The two bone fragments of the Buddha had been presented to the temple's chief monk, Ven, E. Indaratana Maha Thera, while he was in India during the previous year. The relics are currently on display within the temple's main prayer hall. In 2012, a small portion of the Buddha's relics was presented by the Thai royal family to Wat Chetawan in Petaling Jaya, Selangor, as a token of goodwill of Thai Buddhists towards Malaysian Buddhists. The relics had been discovered in Uttar Pradesh, India in 1898, before being gifted by India's British authorities to Siam's King Chulalongkorn. Fau Chan Si Temple's Crystal Pagoda contains Sarira from Gautama Buddha and other Buddhist masters. In conjunction with 24 Hours Meta Around the World 2013, a silver golden casket containing Gautama Buddha's relics was brought by Ven. Dhammananda from Sri Lanka to be enshrined in Samadhi Vihara, Shah Alam. <laughs> relics in Mongolia According to legend, Abtai Sain Khan was given a Buddha relic by the third Dalai Lama. The 14th Dalai Lama has prayed for this relic during his visit to Mongolia in 2011. Its location was kept a close secret for concern it would be taken by the Soviet government. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Relics in Myanmar. 
The Shwedagon Pagoda in Myanmar houses eight strands of Buddha's hair taken by his first two disciples Tapusa and Balika, to the site where three relics of Buddha's previous incarnations had been enshrined. Shwedagon was created with the help of the king of Okalapa and the Sulnat spirit s. Sul Pagoda is also said to contain one of the Buddha's hairs. The Kanishka casket is said to have contained three bone fragments of the Buddha, which were forwarded to Burma by the British following the excavation, where they still remain in U Kanti's Dazong. The Upadasanti Pagoda also holds a tooth relic from China. The Chakasadatuvamsa, or Chronicle of the Six Hair Relics of the Buddha, was written in Myanmar. The text says that Buddha gave six hairs to disciples at Venuvana in Rajagra. These were given to six bordering countries who had never seen the Buddha. The stories say that when the Buddha came to Mon State to give sermons, he gave six of his hairs to hermits from Kyaiktio, Zinkiayak to Tissa, Mount Zwegabin to Thea, Kailartha, Kyaiktaywan and Mayathabik. A pair of Belu brothers from Kyaiktasong also received a hair. All the hermits and Belus enshrined the hair in great stones. Burmese and Sri Lankan tradition says that Tripusa and Balaka lost some of the hair relics to the Naga king Jayasana, who took them to worship in his undersea palace. The Haledok Pagoda in Burma crumbled during an earthquake in 1912, exposing two relic chambers. Inside was a vessel containing relics from the Buddha and small figures of bronze representing stages of his lives. On his way flying through the air with 499 disciples to Sanaparanda Buddha stopped at Sakabanda where he talked the heretic teacher of the same name into becoming an arhat. On his way home from Sanaparanda Buddha stopped by the banks of the Namada River where he was welcomed by a devout Buddhist Naga king who asked for a memento to honor, so he left an impression of his footprint in the river bank. They visited Sakabanda again who asked for something to honor as well, Buddha obliged by pressing his foot into solid stone. <inaudible> <inaudible> Relics in Nepal According to UNESCO, Ramagrama Stupa is the only undisturbed original stupa containing relics of Lord Buddha, built in the 6th century BCE. Nepal believes Tilorakot to be Kapilavasta, and nominated it along with Lumbini for World Heritage status. An excavation at Tilorakot in 1962 revealed ancient brick structures but no relics. In 1970s thousands of Buddha relics were said to begin growing out of the east side of the stupa of Swayambunath in Kathmandu. According to Xuanzang, relics of Kanagamana Buddha were held in a stupa in Nigalisagar, visited by Ashoka, in what is now southern Nepal. Relics in Pakistan The Kanishka Stupa in Peshawar, Pakistan has been described as one of the tallest in the world and has been visited by early Chinese Buddhist pilgrims such as Faxian, Sung Yun and Xuanzang. The stupa was excavated in 1908–1909 by a British archaeological mission, where the Kanishka casket was discovered with three small fragments of bone. In Peshawar Faxian reported in the 4th century that the Buddha's begging bowl held four liters and was made of stone, made of four bowls bestowed upon him by the four guardian gods of the four quarters of Mount Vinataka surrounding Mount Sumeru. Another legend is of a Yuji king who wanted to take away the bowl but could not with the strength of eight elephants, so he constructed a stupa over it. <laughs> Relics in Persia Xuanzang said that the Buddha's begging bowl had found its way to Persia after spending time in many different countries. It is said the bowl will one day be given to Maitreya Buddha. According to Faxian however, Buddha's alms bowl took several hundred years to travel across several countries before being taken by a Naga king. The bowl would then reappear at Mount Vinataka, where it would be divided into the original four bowls and given to the four guardian kings to bestow on Maitreya. Maitreya would then press the bowls together forming one again, with the next thousand Buddhas repeating this same process, using the same bowl. According to Daoxuan, the Buddha's bowl—given to him at the time he was offered milk rice—was made of clay. It was bestowed by a mountain deity who had been given the bowl by the previous Kasapa Buddha. The bowl was later repaired by Indra and the guardians of the four quarters crafted thousands of stone replicas, which were placed in thousands of stupas all over the world. Topic. Relics in Russia 
In 2011 the head of the Buddhist Patriarchy of Sri Lanka met with Kursan Ilyamjanov to discuss the movement of relics from Sri Lanka to the Republic of Kalmykia. Former President Kursan Ilyamjanov will become the next guardian of these Buddha relics. Relics in Singapore The Tooth Relic is housed in the Buddha Tooth Relic Temple and Museum in the Chinatown district of Singapore. It is claimed the relic was found in a collapsed stupa in Myanmar. Relics in Sri Lanka In the Mahavamsa, Ashoka chooses not to retrieve Buddha relics in the possession of Nagas at Ramagrama. It was said that on his deathbed Buddha told a prophecy that of the eight dronas of his body relics, one would be venerated by the Kolyas of Ramagrama, then the relics would belong to the Nagas until being enshrined in Sri Lanka. Ashoka is told more prophecy by Arhats, who speak of the future enshrinement of these relics by King Duttagamani. The two courts of relics that were enshrined in the village Ramagama were, according to the Buddha's determination, destined to be enshrined in the great stupa Ruvanbeli. King Dudagemunu who, on the full moon day of the month of Aseha June to July, under the constellation of Uttaraseha, would officiate in the ceremony for the enshrining of the relics in the great stupa, worshipped the Sangha order of monks on the day before the full moon day, reminded them that tomorrow is the appointed day for the enshrining of the relics and requested them to give him the relics. The Saya ordered then the novice Arahant Suatara, who was gifted with the six supernormal faculties, to bring the relics, which Arahant Suatara manages to bring and offer to the Sangha. Tradition says that Tripusa and Bahalika visited Sri Lanka and brought a hair relic with them in a golden reliquary to Girahandu. Tripusa and Balika had initially been disgusted by the hair and fingernail relics, only after he explains the Jataka tale of Sumita laying his hair at the feet of Dipamkara are they convinced this is meritorious. Buddha is said to have given hair relics to Maha Sumana, the god of Adam's Peak, which were enshrined at Mahiangana. He also left a footprint at Sumanakuta. In 1561, in Portuguese Goa, a tooth taken from Sri Lanka said to belong to the Buddha was crushed, burned in a brazier, then tossed into the river in front of a crowd by Archbishop. Don Gaspar. Don Juan Dharmapala the Christian king of Kote claimed to have Takandi tooth. However, according to the Kulavamsa, Kanapu Bandera, who had betrayed the Portuguese also claimed to possess the tooth. He used his possession of the tooth along with his marriage to a Candian princess to seize the throne. The celebrated procession of the tooth in Kandy coincides with an earlier celebration dedicated to Vishnu. King Devanampiadisa built Thuparamaya in which was enshrined the collarbone of the Buddha. It is considered to be the first Dagoba built in Sri Lanka. When the Danta and Himamala family arrive in Sri Lanka in 362-409 CE, they deliver one of the four eye-teeth relics to King Siramagavana, who places it with the bowl relic. The relics remain together in Anuradhapura for 600 years until being moved to the new capital of Palanaruva, at which point it becomes the most venerated relic in Sri Lanka. It is believed the bowl produces rainfall. A 14th century legend says that King Upadisa put an end to a drought by filling the bowl with water and sprinkling the ground while following a cart with a golden statue of Buddha. It is said the Buddha's disciple Ananda had done with when Vaisali suffered from famine and pestilence from drought. In the 12th century, at Parakamabahu's festival for the tooth relic, a rain cloud filled the ponds but did not rain on the celebration. Then King Dudagemunu received from the Sangha the Buddha's relics upon his head in a casket and departed from the Golden Pavilion in the midst of manifold offerings and honours made by gods and brahmas. He circumambulated the relic chamber three times, entered it from the east, and then laid the relic casket on a couch of one Konyi worth silver that was arranged in the north side. An image of the Buddha was then, according to the Buddha's determination, created in the lion's reclining posture and all the relics were enshrined within that image. When the enshrining of the relics in the great stupa Ruvanbeli was completed, the two novices Uttara and Sumana closed the relic chamber with the stone blocks that were previously hidden to be used as a lid. In the Thupavamsa numerous types of beings attended the enshrinement of the relics into the Mahathupa, including the Naga king Mahakala who until recently guarded them. The relics were to be placed atop a golden throne crafted by Visvakarman the divine artificer, the throne brought by Indra. Brahma offers his invisible umbrella of sovereignty, with the king Duttagamani offering his own. 
The Arhat Indagutta creates a metal canopy over the universe, so that Mara will not interfere, as monks chanted the Sutra Pitaka. Dutthagamani ceremoniously enters with the urn atop his head, but as he is about to place the urn on the golden throne, the relics rise into the air and form Buddha, with each of the thirty-two major signs and eight lesser signs of a great man. In this form he performs the twin miracle of fire and water, fulfilling the fifth of his deathbed resolutions. One hundred and twenty million gods and humans gain arhatship from this experience. The relics return to the urn and they are laid to rest and the chamber sealed with forty-meter stone slabs. Relics in Thailand The Piprawa relics were given to Rama V the King of Siam a couple of years after their discovery in 1898, where they still reside. Rama V had Phu Khao Thong, a man-made mountain constructed at Wat Saket. After 1888 the stupa would house a Buddha relic from Sri Lanka alongside relics from prisoners. Phra Boramathat Chetty is the oldest stupa containing Buddha relics in Thailand. Wat Phra that Doi Sutep was founded after a monk followed a dream and found a shoulder bone that glowed and replicated itself, leading him to believe it was a Buddha relic. Phra that. Wat Kham Ping in northern Thailand claims to enshrine over 50,000 Buddha relics. Relics of the head were found in Tiankam Temple, Lampang Province in 2007. The temple was built by King Indraditya in the 12th century. Relics in Tibet An exhibit donated by the Dalai Lama features relics from Gautama Buddha as well as 40 other Buddhist masters from India, Tibet and China, taken with him out of Tibet after the 1959 invasion. The exhibit was the idea of Lama Zofa Rinpoche, it started in 2001 and has toured 61 countries. <inaudible> <inaudible> Relics in Vietnam Xaloi Pagoda served as the headquarters for Buddhism in South Vietnam during the Vietnamese Civil War, its construction began in 1956 to house remains of the Buddha. Jok Lam Pagoda has housed Buddha relics since they were brought to the temple from Sri Lanka by Narada in 1953. Tin Exa Trung Tam founded in 1965 also houses relics. <inaudible> <inaudible> relics in heaven It is said the placenta of Buddha Ratnavyuha was taken by Brahma to be enshrined in a stupa. When Buddha left the palace to seek enlightenment he severed his hair with a sword. According to Theravada sources, throwing his top knot into the air, and says if he is to be Buddha it will remain in the sky. It stays at a height of one league, until it is taken by Indra to Trayastramsa heaven. Mulasarvastavada Vinaya recounts how a friend of Kasyapa Buddha named Gatikara gives him a monastric robe, bowl, razor, girdle, needle and water strainer. In another version the Bodhisattva encounters this divinity disguised as a hunter and trades him his Banaras silk robes, which are enshrined in a katiya. Alternatively new robes came to Buddha from ten brothers from Kapulavasta who received hemp robes from their mother, about to Parinirvanize they told her to give the robes to the Buddha, foreseeing his birth. The mother gave the robes to her daughter near death, who gave them to a tree spirit to give to the son of Suddhodana. Indra disguises as a hunter, then takes the robes from the tree and gives them to Buddha in exchange for the silk robes, which he enshrines in heaven and dedicates a festival to the robes. The bowl in which Buddha received milk rice after his long fast is said to have floated down the Nairanjana river before sinking down to the Naga king Kala putting it with the bowls of the three previous Buddhas. <laughs> 